हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज विश्वास एंड वेलकम बैक टू अवर वेब पैक सीरीज एज अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस सीरीज वी आर एक्सप्लोरिंग वेब पैक फ्रॉम बेसिक्स टू एडवांस एज अ पार्ट ऑफ प्रीवियस वीडियो वी टॉक ऑन वेब पैक बेसिक्स वेयर वी डिस्कस ऑन व्हाट इज वेब पैक व्हाई वी नीड वेब पैक देन वी डिस्कस ऑन द different old way of creating the or building the application without web pack and what are the different challenges we face there and uh, then we talk on uh, how web pack help us to resolve those challenges right and uh, now as a part of current video we will be discussing on actual implementation of the web pack where we will create one small demo application with normal javascript html and css and then we will migrate that application into the web pack now let's understand the application that we are creating here uh, we will be creating very simple application with three different files one is uh, index.html and couple of javascript files in your index.html we have title of the application then we have one show button and uh, below that show button we will show some result now when user click on show result button uh, we will add the click event listener in your index.js file that index.js file internally call the function from sum.js that function will calculate sum of two number and finally we will show that result on ui now let's start with step 1 that is creating the application without webpack for that i have open my vs code and now i will add three different files here the first one is index.html and uh, now i will add a couple of js file the first one is the index.js and the second one is sum.js now i will go to my html file and i will add the basic html uh here i will update the title of my application and now i will work on adding the necessary html here so first thing i will add title of my application uh, that is webpack demo uh, then i will create one button <clears throat> and when user click on that button i need to show the result so i will show that result in h3 tag for button i will add some id so that i can refer this button in javascript file and also for the result i will add some id it could be result so this is all the changes that we will required in my html file now in sum.js i will add uh, some function uh, that will take the couple of parameter and uh, finally it will return the result that is sum of two number now in index.js what i will do i will add the uh, click event listener on my button so for that i will go here and uh, will work on uh, fetching that id we'll take the document dot get element by id and we'll add button here then i will work on adding the add event listener uh, the listener will be click and uh, then i am having callback function so in callback function i will add the necessary data now so first i will call to my sum method from here and will pass the necessary parameters 4 and 5 that means i am calling sum method from my index.js it will go here calculate the result of two number and return that result in the uh, constant variable now i need to show that result in my h3 tag for that what i can do i will again do the document dot get element by id
here will refers to h3 tag and uh, then we will do the inner html and uh, then we will use some template string sum up uh, 4 and 5 equal to and we will add our variable here that is result once this is done uh, we will add both the index.js and sum.js file in my index.html we need to add uh, that file after the our html element because we are referring to some of the ids from here so we'll just add the script tag and uh, in script tag i will use the src so this is first tag i will add one more in first we will refer uh, that is index dot or sum dot js and uh, then i will refer my uh, index dot js now i will also provide a name to my button uh, that is show result and once this is done i will go to my index.html file right click here and uh, we'll do the reval in file explorer now it will open file explorer and i will double click my index.html file so here you will see the index.html file is open and our application is running now we have the application title here we have show button and when i click on this button you will see the result here so this is all about the demo now as a next step uh, let's start the npm configuration and install required webpack packages uh, for that i will go in view um, open the terminal make sure like uh, you are in the respective folder and uh, your uh, node is installed and here i will start command npm init once we execute this command it will ask a couple of questions for us uh, first one is package name and uh, package name i will give it as a webpack demo and uh, for next question you can just enter the uh, default things and finally you need to write yes once this is done, uh, you can notice here your package.json file gets created with provided configuration. And uh, now we will move to the third step that is adding the webpack packages. For adding the webpack packages, we will run the command npm install. First, we will install webpack and we will also require uh, webpack CLI as a dependent package for webpack and we will install all these packages as a dev dependency. Let's wait until this completes. Now the installation is completed and uh, you can see like in your package.json file, the couple of dependencies gets added. One is webpack and one is webpack CLI. And you will also notice that the all the dependencies are get installed in node module folder. Now we are done with the initial required setup and uh, we will start the webpack configuration. But to understand webpack configuration, we need to understand the JavaScript module first. That means with the help of JavaScript modules, we can import code of one JavaScript file into the another. Like in, in old days, whenever we want to use javascript we we need to import that as a script tag in html but with starting from node.js we are able to import code of one javascript file into another that means i have some code in sum.js file and if i want to refer this code in index.js i simply import my sum.js file into index.js so let's understand that with the help of example now let's understand node common js module approach where we are exporting some code from sum.js and importing that code into the index.js for that 
syntax is simple. We need to use the module dot exports and uh, then need to use the appropriate method or um, function that we want to export. And in index.js, we simply use the required keyword to get that required function. So this is about the Node.js common module. Now let's understand the latest ES6 modules, right? In ES6 module, things are similar, but way of exporting and importing the component is different. For export, we need to use the export keyword and then any of the component or function we need to specify. And in index.js, we need to import that function as a default or named export from required specific file. This is the important concept and required to understand the webpack further. Now let's start with actual webpack configuration. To start with this, first I will remove both these JavaScript file as we are not required that in HTML anymore. Then I will go to my sum.js and export this file. For export, I will use ES6 module export and I use the export keyword here. Now I will go to my index.js and import that sum here, right? I am using named export, so we need to give that in curly braces and from which file? That is from my sum file, right? Once those changes are done, now let's start with actual Webpack file configuration. For that, we need to create one new file and uh, the file name is webpack.config.js. When application run, uh, it will auto detect the file name with webpack.config.js and read the configuration from this particular file. For actual configuration, we need to export our Webpack configuration. For that, we will use Node.js modules. And for exporting Node.js module, we will use module.exports. And then we need to specify your uh, configuration here. As a configuration, two important properties are there and that is required for minimum configuration. One is entry. That means we need to specify the entry file and another one is output. That means we need to specify the output directory and file name where your final bundle will be placed. So let's start understanding that now. For entry, we will go with entry parameter and this will be the relative path of the entry file. In our case, the file name is index.js. That means Webpack will start from this file and then it will go to the necessary dependency and create the dependency graph. Now let's talk about the output property. Output property will be object and it will expect two fields. One is file name. In which my final code will be placed and I will give file name as a bundle.js and second parameter will be a path. Path means the directory in which we need to place this particular file. And this path should be absolute path. And to get absolute path, we need to import one particular package from Node.js and that package name is path. So first we will import that package. Um, the package is path. Let me go here and import it. Uh, we are using Node.js uh, import and export here because the Webpack file is run in Node.js environment. So we can use any feature of the Node.js here. And uh, that package name is path. So I have added that name. And now we will use that path. We need to call path.resolve function here. And the first parameter will be directory name. This directory name will return me current directory. And the second parameter is 
the folder in which we want to place your bundle file. The generally folder name will be build or dist. So I have used dist here. And I think that's all the initial configuration we will require for Webpack file. Now we want to run our build. To run the build, I will go to my package.json and um, add build command here. So here we currently have the default test command and that is not needed for us. We'll remove this command and instead of we will use build here. And for build, we need to use Webpack here. Once this is done, now let's go to the terminal and try to run this command and see what will be the output. For that, I will go to view and open my terminal and you will see we are in Webpack folder and now we will run the command. npm run and command name is build. Once this is done, it will take some time to run the configuration. Let's wait for it. Now uh, the command is executed successfully. You will see here uh, the bundle.js file is created and it is minified. Now, if you go here and see the dist folder gets created um, that we specified in our webpack config. And now if you open this folder, you will see the bundle.js file is also created. If I open that file, you will see the file is created with all the required code and that code is present in minified format. To understand this code in better way, we need to also understand the mode in which this webpack config file gets executed. Uh, if you go here, you will see one warning. Mode option not been set and the webpack will fall back to the production by default. That means Webpack is executed in two mode. One is development mode, one is production mode. And by default, it is executed in production mode. If you use the development mode, then you will see the different output here. So let's understand that as well. To do the changes, either you can go to your uh, Webpack file and add one more property here, that is mode, or also you can go to your package.json so it's it will be a mode and we need to give development. Save these changes and run your build again. It's running the build in development mode now. And you will see the bundle.js file is created again. And now it is not minified, right? Uh, let's go to the bundle.js and see. Now our file is different and uh, you will see the output in much detail, right? Like uh, the Webpack file gets created in the immediately invoked function expression. Uh, the All the code is present here. Then if you go down here, it will install all the necessary dependencies. Then you will see our sum.js file is here. And you will also see the code for index.js. Once this is done, uh, now let's start next step, like how exactly you will run your applications, right? For that, I will go to my index.html and add script tag here. And in script tag, we'll use the src path and this path will be now from my dist folder, that is bundle.js. So let's give that path. We'll go to the dist folder and from dist, we'll use the bundle.js here. And now let's go to our application. The application is running here. Uh, initially, it is running with the normal JavaScript CSS way. And now it should run uh, from our webpack, right? For that, go to the source now and I will refresh this application. Now, if you see here, uh, the code is present in the dist folder. And uh, if you go to the network tab, you will see the JavaScript is loaded from bundle.js, right? And now you will see if your application is working as expected. It is working fine, but with the help of Webpack configuration. All right, that's it for today's video. As a part of next video, Let's explore few more interesting concepts from Webpack. Till now, thank you. Bye.